So um, basically, uh, uh, okay, Obama throws temper tantrum. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Oh yes, the big news today is, what? Obama was back in LA and you should have seen the traffic. I know I got stuck waiting it again. And he threw a temper tantrum? Boy, if you would have seen some of the people in the cars, they were ready to throw a temper tantrum. Well, what was that one about? Well, good thing he wasn't at Julian's auctions because there were a lot of priceless guitars getting ready to auction June 8th and 9th. Yes, for Julian's auctions. Meanwhile, E3 still continues here in Los Angeles, and we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And Obama is now at war with everyone. Oh, God, he, he's at war with the unions. He's at war with the, de the Democratic Party leaders. He's at war with the press. You know, basically, um, he's throwing a major temper tantrum because that uh, he didn't... Okay. He, he, he basically cut off the press to the unemployment figures. He's cut off the press to the uh, debt figures. He's cut off the press access to him. Only people that are totally friendly to his message are ever going to have access to anything now because he is, he's getting pounded by, okay, yesterday a half a dozen major Democrats all came out against him on his tax plan, you know, that, that you're going to have to get the, the, the people that are spending the money are the people you want to increase taxes on. Mm -hmm. And if you increase taxes on them, they're not going to have the money to spend. And it doesn't, and they said that they already said earlier that his, that, that it's a tax increase if you don't stop, if you don't keep the things as is. It adds nothing more to the deficit because it's a tax it's not a decrease, it's nothing, it's just leaving something that's there. If you're never going to make taxes off of it, it costs you nothing, folks. Ah, uh, and unions and Democrats renew citizens, united criticism after recall. Oh yeah, they're going after the Republicans, folks. The Democrats have decided they're going to teach people a lesson. I heard one of the Democratic pollsters last night that said, my father was a, basically, he's got, he's got his pencil, he said, my father used to go teach people a lesson with two befores and axe handles. He said expect, expect that to happen now at the, at the uh, voting booths. He said look for Eric Holder to turn his eyes to people being having the hell beat out of him by uh, union people this fall. And police say man assaulted a child after water balloon fight. Oh yeah, he, he, he basically he got involved with with a balloon fight with a bunch of kids, and then when he got wet, he he beat up a kid, and he's going to go to jail for a very very long time. And and you know what they don't like in jails is what? people that hurt kids. No, they don't. Yeah. A New York City taxi driver gets six months in an airport fare flap. Well, yeah, you know, it's because there's a okay. Um, you can't turn in New York City. You basically pay a fee to be a cabbie, and on, and part you get a medallion. That medallion says specifically you have to charge the fares that are set by the city. You can't say simply, well, it's going to cost you a hundred dollars for me to take you from here to there. That isn't the way it works. And Buffett sees little chance of U.S. recession. Well, unfortunately, of course, if you listen to. Um, to Bill Clinton, you know, Summers, and all these other Democrats that, you, that are connected to the White House, we're in a recession. This, okay, here's the thing is, why do you think the market is rose so high the last two days on all the crappy news from around the world? Mm -hmm. I have to cover his ears because they said they know this president is on his way out now and that the unions, unions lost Tuesday in every single election that had to do with, with uh, Killing their, you know, their, 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 you know, basically unions are basically getting considerably more money, the public sector unions, than the uh, people, private sector workers, and that came, that's coming to an end in democratically controlled cities. And, and, and Cuomo of New York said that we no longer can afford these pensions and these elaborate health care plans for the unions. And why attacking Lonnie's record as governor won't stick? Well, you know, this is a Democrat. I mean, a, you know, a liberal Democrat over on ABC News said he, he had a good record as governor. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see. He is from the seventh smallest state in the United States, and had, had when he took over, he had an unemployment rate of 1.5 percent, and it went down to 1.2 percent. 
and um, he was basically he went from forty he went from forty seventh to forty fourth because there wasn't any employment when, when you're at one point five percent you really can't create much employment. And Taliban blamed for poison attack on Afghan schoolgirls. Well, yeah, because Obama's going to teach girls a lesson. Remember, are Obama, you serious? All right, here we go. Our president of the United States refuses to admit he's a Muslim, which basically you should. I would, I would be, I, nobody in our country gives a rat's ass if he's a Muslim. They really don't care about a person's religious views. You know, but he won't say he's a Muslim because he knows, he thinks so people will not elect him, you know, with the name Barack Hussein Obama, that they'd never have elected him to the presidency if they'd have known he advocated allowing people to kill children, especially girls. And WikiLeaks boss Assange set for UK Day of Reckoning. Yeah, because they is going to get shipped back because they, okay, here's a good one. You really have to be a stinker to get charged with sexual assault in, in Sweden, folks. Oh, yeah, in Sweden? But basically what he did was the, uh, the girl said no and he did it anyway because oh, no. he was, she was Julian Assange. So he's going to go to jail. I mean, do you imagine what it must be like in a, in a Swedish prison to be charged with sexual assault? <laughs> Graduates, actually... Never mind. Sweet, sweet. I know those sweets. They like to party. Yeah. Um, what, <laughs> graduate's essay lives on after her death. Uh, I know. Okay, this is the most ridiculous thing. Somebody got. Somebody wrote this essay. She was a, a journalist. She wrote a thing and got killed in an automobile accident. Basically, I can guarantee you, I have a degree in journalism. What you say, you know, uh, you know, lives on. Liz on is just history. It basically, unless you're looking for it, you never know it exists. And as, as soon as the her the de the things go out of the deal that she died last week, no one will ever remember it again. It becomes total. Of, unless you're looking specifically for it, you'll never find it. Mm -hmm. And Blitzer blasts Trump for ridiculous birther comments. Okay. Okay. We need to restrict the speech of people that attack our president on the birther issue. Well. I'm going to try to explain things very simple. Oh, is that what Blitzer said? Yeah. Uh, we, uh, always a de Democrats basically must restrict the speech of individuals they don't agree with. Obama has, um, okay, because I am so old and I'm the last, I'm the oldest member of my family, I had to get a passport, I had to get a birth certificate. My thing burnt down, God be, I mean, like 50 years ago the place burnt down, but they gave me a certificate of birth, which showed that I was born, actually not where I, I've been telling people in one place that it, they must have been birth for another <laughs> state. But there's a reason why, because the hospital goes across state lines. So mm -hmm. I was born in another state, even though in the right hospital. But Obama did not get a certificate of birth. He got a god awful who in the hell knows what that thing was. They've never seen one like it before. Which basically just compounded things. And I was you can find me listed in the newspapers of where I was born because the hospitals put a birth announcement in. There is no birth announcement for Barry Obama anywhere. Uh, but I said, one guy said, I bet you'll find it in Kenya if you go look deep enough. And U.S. allies expel top Syrian diplomats. Yeah, well, we have to, uh, the, the, some uni I love this, United Nations must move, remove uh, the head of Syria and replace him with a new government. Uh, that is never going to happen because uh, you think that the Russians basically liked Obama's people saying the United Nations must decide who's going to be running governments now. Mm -hmm. And Ann Romney gets a press secretary. Yeah, because she's basically there. There is so that they can continue to, you know, what it is. The Democrats continue making the attacks on her. Well, she doesn't know what it's like to work. Which basically, since she's a working mother, mm -hmm. she doesn't understand health care. Well, she's got an autistic son, and she's recovering from, she's a cancer survivor. and um, But she doesn't understand any of those things. So now they've got a press advisor to basically mm -hmm. go after all of these people who basically, I mean, the Democratic Party has said, shut up about Ann Romney. They can't do it, but they, they, they got, as they say, diarrhea of the mouth when it comes to uh, Republican women. They got it. They told them to stop doing it. An Arkansas teen who shot sleeping sister gets 45 years. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's basically, that's, that's 45 years in luxury because in Arkansas, sisters don't count. Oh. Yeah. Animonte bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. The, the new word for sore loser is Democrat. 